Hi, y'all. I just tried to do this video once, but um, it wasn't very good. And so I erased it and started again. Um, this this here video, this, this is a change because my camera was hanging up here like from the ceiling in a, on a string. And, um, and the thing that I had holding it still, I had it duct taped, you know, to the there, and um, it kept falling. But now today in the mail, magical, just magical. This is the magical time of year. And I got a tripod in the mail, and I didn't mail it to myself. It was mailed to me by a, I, by a magical unicorn, I think. And so anyhow... I've been doing a lot of videos lately on my quilting in the sewing room. That's that room up there. And, um, and f like for the last two weeks, that's all I've done is quilting videos and, or three weeks, maybe even. And then uh, today I was thinking, gosh, I have not doodled. I have not doodled a doggone thing. And so I said, I need to doodle. I need to do a Zentangle doodle ish, Zentangle style art doodle. That kind of thing. That's what I need to do. And so, um, since I had this, like, brand new professional, professional tripod, I put my camera up on this tripod. There is no way it's going to fall off. I don't need duct tape. I need no duct tape for this. So this is amazing. Now, I know you're looking around me and saying, oh, what a mess. And I know my lo mother is looking from above, and she is saying, Elizabeth, you need to clean your room. And like I used to tell her, always, I'll said I'll clean it tomorrow tomorrow so mom I'll clean it tomorrow yeah I'll clean it tomorrow but I am gonna I'm gonna organize just this area right here so if I show you me then this then this if this part right here is organized then you'll think that the whole room is organized that's all you need to know is just think the whole room is organized. and then I'll be happy and so anyhow Today we're going to go back to the Great Zentangle book. I had to dust it off because there was dust on it. But now, and I opened it to this one, page 100 if you have the book, and it's called The Tripole. Now, isn't that just interesting with my new tripod and do a tripole? I think that is just amazing. I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. And it's a great idea. And so, now, this is... We're not sure about this lighting in this room. We, yeah, it's 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 kind of a pain in the posterior. Okay, but anyhow, because I get this glare going on, I don't know why that is either. But we're going to do some doodling because doodling, you can't stop doodling. You got to keep doodling because doodling is mind clearing clears your mind like if you got a whole bunch of jillion things going on in your mind at one time and you don't know which way is up then doodle there's three things you can do you can doodle you can glue or you can sew and when I say sew, I'm going by my crumb quilting or junk quilting or it junk quilting it's a junk quilt and um so if you haven't watched my quilting videos you have to check them out because holy smokes I am having so much fun when I'm done with this video, I might go in there and make another video on my quilter in that other room. Yeah, I should clean. You know, like my hubster come in here a while ago and he says, I had to come in and check on you, make sure that you're all right, because it's just too quiet in there. You know, because he knows I talk to myself a lot. And um, he says, it's just too quiet in there. And he said, I had to make sure the um, serial killers didn't come in here and slaughter you or something. You know, he always says stuff like that. I said, no, I have got an alarm system. I have, my house is, is, is burglar proof. Because if a burglar comes into this house, they're going to trip over stuff and kill himself. So I don't have to worry about burglars because I've got enough junk over around the house to it's safety precautions is what it is when you have piles and things and crafty stuff in weird places. Okay, well, we, I'm going to quit that running off my mouth now because um, I know you all are just itching to get onto this tripo, tripo. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use my professionalism and turn this down here like this. And then you can see my paper. 
just right there. That's it right there. Now, now I can't zoom. I haven't figured out how to zoom on this computer. I had this very same camera on my other computer, on my old computer, and I could zoom. I put it on this computer, and I can't zoom. So I don't know what, what the deal is. I just don't know what the deal is. And so anyhow, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to, we're going to start the tripo. It starts with a triangle. But as you can see, the, the sides of the triangle are curved. They're not straight. And then the second step, we bring a line down from this corner. Third step, a line from the second corner. And the, third, the fourth step, a line from the third corner. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I turn my page so that it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to make this kind of big because I can't zoom in. So I'm going to make this kind of big. I should really do it with a great big marker. But um, we're going to go and make this triangle with the rounded sides instead of square, straight sides. Okay? So... I think you can see that okay. Now, after you've made that three sides of the, it's a rounded triangle, then we're going to go from the top corner and we're going to make a curve down here. And it looks like, and, and stop about right there. And you, you've you gone about one third of the way. See, if you look, if you look at the bottom line, about one third of the way. So that's where you point. Now I take the co the paper and I turn it now. And I'm going to do the same thing from this corner. And like this. And then we're going to go again from this corner. And we're going to go this. I'm going to go all the way to that line now because I know where the line is. And then, but then here I can finish that line right there. So then that's what you've got right there. Okay, and now what we do is we put two more lines in each one of these sections. In each one of the sections, we're going to do two more lines. And so what I have found to make that easier to do is I put it, I go ahead and, and separate with a little dot. I put two dots in there. And thinking of every time I make a dot, I think about die die she loves dots and um and so then i go back up to this corner now and i'm going to make that curved line down to that dot and then up to the corner and make that curved line down to that second dot and now to make it easier for myself i'll turn that and i'm going to also make the little dot so i know where i'm headed and then if i do them dots it makes my um these lines it makes them more even and evenly spaced and then I turn it again and I put those two dots and then I'm going to go down with my and there I go this right here what you see is basically the tripo so then what we do is to um you can go with your with your with your pencil, with your graphite, and you can go here, and you kind of make it a little, you're going to put some shading on this wide end of the bottom of each one of the sections. You're going to do a little bit of shading. Now, when you do that shading, it makes it look like you've, um, it makes it look like you have you have it makes it look like this is actually going underneath it makes it look like this section is going underneath that next section and so we just shade that and that's as simple as that goes and now that's that basic part of this tripo and now you can take this tripo and you can go further with it and you can make it your own Zentangle style art by adding anything in the world to it and I'll show you here on this here in this book is so awesome because see this is what we just come up with right here right there and then but look here what they've done they've overlapped now here there's one 
There's the first one, then they made one behind it, and then they made one small one down here. And so then, let's see how that works. I'm going to go with, now to make one behind it, to make one behind it, we're going to go, um, we're going to make that triangle again. I'm going to start from here, and let's see how this works. This is going to be the top, but I'm going under. And then this bottom of the triangle and the other side of the triangle. See there? Now I'm going to do, I'm going to go down with those, those part lines. I'm going to go here. Now see, it's behind there, so I can go that far. And then this one, it's behind there. So I want to try to keep my line so it, it's, and that one's not real even, but it's close enough. And then I'm going to go from this third corner and I'm going to go all the way to that line there. Okay, so then that one is finished. I'm going to put the two dots because see, we want three sections. So I'm put them two dots there so I know where I'm headed and we will finish that up like this and then we'll put the little two dots here start from this top corner and imagine that you went across there so that line looks equal to this this one up here that down here and then here and we'll go down that way and then we'll go here and do the same thing now I can't see that whole line because it's behind but I can see that much of it so I'm going to put that dot there and I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to get this line and it'll go that far because then see now that one actually looks like it's behind the first one we drew and I love that they call that the Hollibaugh effect in in Zentangle and um, they call that the Hollibaugh effect when you go behind something that you already drew so and then i'm going to go ahead and shade a little bit on that one and the shading really does make a difference and then when you're shading now you don't have to shade with a graphite with just a graphite pencil you can shade with um with um, a colored pencil and you might want to shade it I mean, do the whole thing even with a colored pencil or, you know, if you use, like I I like to do with my tangles now, is use a gel pen and put, a, put make the, the um, make the, um, the tangle using a gel pen instead of the black marker and then shade it using the same color of a colored pencil. And those turn out just, just beautiful. Well, you know, sitting here doing this, I just didn't realize how much I missed it by sitting in there doing my quilting. But I love doing my quilting, too. And so, so, um, yes, I just love, I love crafts. I just love to be doing something all the time with my hands. Um, my hands are not idle ever unless I'm asleep. And then who knows, they might not be idle even then. I might be pinching my hamster. But anyway, yeah. Okay, and so now I'm, I'm going to make another one. I'm going to go um, and I'm going to make another one like, like they did on this one. It's sort of behind. See here, this one down here, if you can see it, it's sort of behind. Just the very top of it is behind the top bigger ones. And we're going to make a small one. So we'll go line number one line number two so i have my round line triangle and then we'll go okay i'm gonna go from a point first and go here and then i'm gonna go here and then i will go here you end up always with like a little triangle in the middle 
This one looks a little bit cattywampus. But I'm not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about cattywampus. Okay. Put my little dots and go to my dots. Just for me, those dots help because... I remember where I'm going here. In here. Because then I can... I know I've got it separated pretty equal and it doesn't have to be all, all that equal. But it's just... The way you do it. You know, when you're doing a new tangle... You know, I think what we always do is we try to do it as it is taught first. And then, not that I'm teaching, I'm just showing you what I'm learning. And um, that's why I call it my Learn With Me series. And I don't, I don't teach, I just show. I just show what I'm doing. And so there I have that. Then, then you can start, like here, here if you can see, they're finished image there they've got the three triangles but then they have different tangles around it to kind of finish it like here they have they have um some poke leaves which the poke leaf is a stem and then the little curve above the stem and then go up and poke it in there. See, and then here we can go with another poke leaf. And see, and right now I'm pretty much copying what I'm seeing on, on the book. But you do not have to do that. You, you one, once you, you know, you just learn the new piece the new tangle, you just go by whatever, um, whatever strikes your fancy. And the thing is, we're doing Zentangle style art. It's not act. I am not a certified Zentangle teacher, so I, I really go by, um, by just what comes to me, what pops in my head. Um, what pops in my head and what I think will look good there. So now I have these and just like on the picture there, then we have some little orbs and I'm going to fill in. I'm going to get a finer pen here to put my orbs in. And I'm just going to fill in some of these spaces with um, different sizes of little orbs. And that is really cute. I love that. I think that is a neat idea, putting the orbs in and putting them. You don't have to put them in order or nothing. They don't have to be straight or symmetrical. They just, you just put them in. And then one thing I like to do too when I do my orbs is I like to have like one poking out here maybe maybe two poking out here and like they're flying like this see that and I like that right there I think this is good and then you can go with um here on this one too they did like a Let's see how they did that. They, they here they did like a um. Mm, I'm not remembering what you call these, but I'm going to go. See, that's when one thing that I could never be a certified Zentangle teacher because I can my memory is too poor, and so. But now I'm going to just. And I'm going to go, let me see, I'm not doing that right. I'm not doing that right, so you got to just bear with me. Okay, then let's make another, make the triangle first. I think that's what you're supposed to do. So you make a triangle, and then you, yeah, I'll make the triangle first, Elizabeth. And then here, we'll have another little triangle right here. 
and we'll put the lines inside that triangle like this way. And here we'll go um, this way. And then we'll make another triangle up here. And we will go put these lines in this way. So you're making a triangle, and then you're filling in the triangle with a, like a little fan. And they do. They look like a little fan. And then we'll make a triangle here. And we'll put the lines in here. And it kind of looks like a little fan. And then I'll make another little triangle here. And these ones, I want my lines to go this way. See, I don't want my lines to go the same way as the triangle right next to it. And so then here and and so and and there you can just keep going with that too. And you may want to change and do something a little bit different. Then we'll go this way here. And so then, um, then maybe I want to go down here, and maybe I want to go, let's see, maybe I will want to make a, a shape. I'm just going to make a shape like this right here. But then I'm going to do the cross hatching like you do like a checkerboard. And so I'll just do that all the way down here. See, I haven't done this in a while, and so, so, um, this is fun. This is really fun. Hi, Zoe. You're so cute. Okay, now, and so I'm just going to make my little checkerboard here. I love the checkerboard. I think having a checkerboard into a, um, a um, Zentangle styled art is, I, most, a lot of mine have a checkerboard in them. Let me get a heavier pen here. And so then um, I'm going to just go ahead and when, when you're coloring your checkerboard, and I've said this before, when you're when you're coloring in, when you're puddling in the the every other square, like on a checkerboard, um, it is always best to what I learned from Maria in which it was one of the Zentangle founders, is she calls it kiss the corners. And so kiss the corners. So a corner of like if you start with just one and you and you fill that in then kiss the corners go and use that corner as your guide to color in the next square and sometimes that works a whole lot better especially if you've got an odd shape and that way I because I know I have uh, many times colored in the wrong corner, the wrong square. I said, oh, I wasn't supposed to color that one in, you know. And so, but if you stick with the corners, is match up the corners. See, I'm sort of quilting here. <laughs> the corners. And... And then you can get... I, I don't know. It's just, you know, just, you just keep going. And a lot of times you, if you have this going on, if you're doing some doodling and you, there's a lot of YouTube channels that is meditation music. You put in some of that meditation music in a, you, in, on your, on your computer. If you're sitting there at your desk, if you've got a computer there or, or your phone or anything, you know, just put in meditation music or sleep music even my grandson always puts in sleep music when he goes to bed at night and and that's what is on his on his television um is um is sleep music from youtube and and he finds that to be very soothing and 
and it is, you know, and doing something like this, if you're doing it and you use that meditation music, it's just amazing. Right now, there's a lot of Christmas music on videos. And you might look at the screen, and the screen is nothing but a a um, Christmas tree or a fireplace or something. There's a lot of meditation music that is nothing but um, maybe a waterfall. But then you get that music. And if you're listening to something like that while you are doing your doodling, it is so therapeutic, it's so calming, and we all need that in this day and age right now, the way our world is today. There's so many things that we tend to worry about, even if we can't fix it. We don't know how to fix it, and but we still let it get to us. We still worry a lot. And well, you know, the worry is going to, is the worry is bad for you. That's bad for your health. And so, and there's so many things, you know, we can tell other people, you know, we can yell at the television and tell the television, you know, let tell the t people on television what to do that will fix the world's problems, but television isn't going to listen to you. So see, then you're getting yourself all worked up for nothing. So understand that you there's nothing you can do about it. It's going to be what it is. And just know that you're going to live for today and you're going to take care of yourself. Those of who, you who pray, of course, you can always pray. And um, prayer doesn't hurt. Prayer, prayer really does help. Sometimes we wonder, I've prayed about this forever and it's still messed up. What's the problem? And so, but you know what? Sometimes you're pray, praying for something and you're actually speaking to yourself and just making yourself understand a little bit more about what's going on. And so, and I've got just about got these all colored in. And then, see, there you go. Now you can go inside here and you can maybe make some zingers. I love zingers. I'm going to get my finer pen. Maybe we'll just put some zingers inside of there. And and this isn't like you're not working on something that you have to frame and send to a museum. Oh. You're just you're just doing something for yourself. Speaking of museums, my grandson right now and his mom are down at the Dalai Lama Museum in Tampa. They went to go check out whatever, whatever. I, I don't think they'll be able to take pictures inside. I wish they were, but I don't think you're allowed to take pictures inside. But I said, so if you all are allowed, be sure and bring me some pictures back because I am curious. But I, so I told them if they have like little flyers or anything, bring them so I can kind of see an idea of what they're seeing because I know it's amazing. I know it has to be amazing. So there we go. Now you could maybe make a, um, on this side, maybe we'll go right here. I mean, you can just keep go until you fill up your paper. Um, oh, I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing, but... Um, put, I love to make my little sunflowers. I think they're awesome. And there's another name for these, but I don't know what it is. My memory is gone kabutsky. And so, but we have a sunflower growing right out of that spot. This um, this, um, thing, that totem pole, it's not a totem pole, tripod, gosh, I don't even know right words anymore, is so awesome, because I'm not banging my head into it or nothing, and so I put little, little veins up into those flower petals,
and then um, you can put like little dots at the ends of your petals just a few dots and just like for for dye dye make sure she's got plenty of dots these are called dye dye dots dye dye dots okay see there and then we're going to go in here and i'm just going to fill this in with little orbs because then that's like little sunflower seeds just little orbs in there and those will be my sunflower seeds and see when you do something like this you do what you want to do you just do what you want to do and just keep on going you fill up your whole sheet of paper your whole sheet of paper and see oh, then I want to go in here and I'm going to color in just those little empty spots between the petals of the flower just them little empty spots and there we go see that's pretty okay I won't keep you all like forever more and then a lot of times on an edge you can go like um like on the edge you can maybe i'm going to make the letter i i i i and just make the letter i you can take one letter of the alphabet and keep um using that one letter and just go along a whole edge and i've done that a lot and now i'm putting my dots on my eyes i've done that a lot on my edges of my tangles see there and now on here you see there's spaces a lot of space in the um tripo and there's a lot of things you can do even in them spaces and like i might want to um write a word i might i love the word believe so i am going to put believe See, I can't talk when I'm spelling something or I'll spell it wrong. There, and then maybe here I'll put in um, inspire. That one I put in the middle one. I'll put inspire up here. And then maybe down here I will put love. But you can do that. You can, your and your art just keeps building. It just keeps building. So we started that with the tripo. I did three tripos. I did the um. Oh, they call this the Knight's Bridge when you do that checkerboarded thing. And then I have my little sunflower thing here, and then I did these little things here, and the poke leaves are here with some of the little orbs in there, and did some zingers in here. I did the letter I right here. Then you might want to, and, and you just keep going on. You just keep going. And um, for me, I just like to keep going. And maybe I would put some larger orbs right here. Maybe I'll put a couple right here. Or four, a couple or four. But there's so many places that you'll see and say, well, yeah, I want to I wanna put something there. And there are so many. Go over all of the ones that we've learned already. And then, and then when you're making your, um, when you're making your, your um, Zentangle styled art, it's going to be yours. See here, I um, didn't do mine exactly like that was on here. I started following it, but then I started changing it, put stuff in the middle, and then I did things a little bit different. And so, and, and it's yours. It's your art. So it's, and, and sometimes it's just amazing. Um, it's amazing what you come up with. 
see I feel like I need to have a word down here too so maybe I you know another one of the words I love is true to thine own self be true true and then here I need a short word over here so I will put in joy I have a friend named Joy and I have a new great niece named Joy and then but joy period is just a very good word so I want to leave it leave you with that and um, I'm glad that I thought to to do a a um, to to do a little doodle video because it's been a little bit too long since I've done a, 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 a video. And um, I'm, right now I'm reaching for my a little reading book. That Oh, there, 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 there. There it is. And see, I, have, I do have to clean. My mother is right. She's sending me those messages from heaven saying, clean your room, Elizabeth. Um, and so, and she's right. I do need to clean my room. But, oh, there, I got my book. Someone Cares, The Collected Poems of Helen Steiner Rice. Nancy Morales gave me that book, so I left that book and that note in there so I know. The Golden Chain of Friendship. I have um, two of these books by this lady now. And um, I have two, two of her books, and I'm happy to have them. Let's see. Everyone needs someone. I'll read this one. People need people and friends need friends. And we all need love for a full life depends. Do you want to look at me? I want to look at you. Okay. Not on vast riches or great acclaim. Not on success or on worldly fame. But just in knowing that someone cares and holds us close in their thoughts and prayers, for only the knowledge that we're understood makes everyday living feel wonderful, wonderfully good. And we rob ourselves of life's greatest need when we lock up our hearts and fail to heed the outstretched hand reaching to find a kindred spirit whose heart and mind are lonely and longing to someone to somehow share our joys and sorrows and to make us aware that life's completeness and richness depends on the things we share with our loved ones and friends. And I think in the crafting community, we have got that down pat. I have not met one crafter that isn't exactly that. We share things. We share our hearts. We share our deepest, our deepest thoughts. We share what we've learned. We share what we're trying. We are constantly sharing. Everybody shares a little bit different, too. And so it's just amazing. You know, I often wonder if I was to ever have met this lady, Helen Steiner Rice, in really life. In real life, how her mind was going constantly with these poems that she was writing. And every one of them is so different from the last one. And, and she wrote many dozens of different books, hundreds of poems. And so her life was all about writing such good things. I can imagine this lady was just, I don't know if she's even still alive. I don't know. Because, see, here's a picture of her. Check out that hairdo. Isn't that nice? And that was, um, this book was written in, let me see. 
Okay, somebody presented this to Betty. Benny did. Benny gave it to Betty. February 14th, 1976. So they gave this to her on Valentine's Day. This was her Valentine gift in 76. And, okay, this one was written in 72. So that must have been a 1972 hairdo. So 82, 92, 100. She might be an angel now. I don't know. But anyhow... I think she's amazing. Okay, so I ask God to watch over each and every one of you, every step you take, every move you make, and may he bring you back here safely and soundly and smiling to the next video. I might now go into the into the um into the sewing room and um see what damage I can do in there. I really I know I need to clean up my mess cuz my mother done sent the message. Okay, God bless you all. God bless you all, and here's the off button.